Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, part three of this, and, and hopefully, well, this will be the last one. Well, a viewer subscriber left me a message, and they they mentioned that you could break the uh, extrude group a screw extrude group apart. I didn't even have to do that, but I started thinking, so I thank him for that. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. Whoop! Set my nudge factor on something bigger like 16 inches and I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm going to extrude this one and because I've already done the envelope tool on this and if you didn't see that uh, you can watch parts one and two but I'm going to go to the extrude group tool and why is it not working two objects Ungroup it, select it all, and group it. Extrude tool. There we go. So you've got the extrude tool group. And I didn't even have to break it apart, but I am, because I think it might help. But I am going to break it apart, and I'm going to take away the top letter well you did have to break it apart so i i took that i put it way up there probably up so now you have this group and i am going to go in and bring in a a blue box around here so we can see what's going on i'm going to go to order back a page and i do not have the white on this yet so i'm going to make a white outline by right clicking make it something bigger than a hairline and we have that. So I did have to break it apart, but what's so neat about this is that you could have no fill and right click and you could see some lines. So I'm just gonna go through there and take this model. Well, evidently that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. And, and then you can still change it later. Um, I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, set on black first, and I'm going to fill that in. Nope, see, that's not going to work. So what I, what I did do before, I'm, I'm going to break it apart again. So I think you have to select it all. This is all new to me, too. I'm just playing. And I'm going to take... Try to get that little square. Okay, I'm gonna change my nudge factor like to three inches. And remember the 16, because we're gonna need it later. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna make that black. I'm gonna kind of look through here in the back of the P. I'm gonna nudge it down. I need to make it black. And then, you know, the O is a little bit different. Uh, the C is a little bit different, but like uh, this side of the I, that part of the N, I'm not going to do the entire thing because he's going to realize what's going on. You know, you're going to have to kind of look at this and, um, you know, like grab, I'm going to have to zoom in. Some of the letters are going to be really difficult. I am not going to fill them in yet. I'm just going to try to grab that little sliver. And then you could still change it after this. So that I'm going to call that good enough for right now. And I'm going to make all these black. But I'm going to go back and make all these orange. And then I'm going to put these back and see where I'm going. Now, also, I can go ahead and select it all. And change it back to 16 inches. You always want to remember what you had. And nudge that over. And you can see how close you are. And he might not even have to be dead on duplicating it. But like this C part is like a half of a shadow. So I'm going to grab it and move it. Well, I'm going to have to change it back to, six, to 3 inches. Take this and move it back. And actually move it down one more time to get it off that blue then I can left click right click 
And if just a little bit of that is black, so you could take a two-point line. And if this doesn't interest you, just stop watching. Uh, I'm going to make that black. I'm going to go ahead and make that black, but I can go over here and make it orange. And then instead of moving the lines, I'm going to move... Move the Smart Fill tool and see we've got a little bit of black. Now, when you ever see that, those are new objects that are on top, so I need to grab my whole text and go up to Object Order Front of Page. Now, that doesn't look real good with the C, but you see where I'm going with this. Okay, we'll do two more letters. We're going to do the, the O and the C. They're kind of the same, so we're going to nudge these down actually have to nudge them down twice i'm going to nudge that one over i'm going to left click right well i don't have to right click because it's already there so then i'm just going to take a two-point line like i did before and i'm just i'm not going to take my time to really watch take my two-point line and make that black that black and i'm going to go ahead and use the smart fill tool with the with the uh, color eyedropper and I want to just move the smart fill. And once again, it's going to probably, remember I moved it over. Whoop, I'm not looking at the keyboard. Now, once again, they are in, in front of the font. Well, maybe they're not. But it to me, it still didn't look perfect. Yeah, they're in front of the font, so I need to take the font and go back to object order front of page because whenever you make that new object okay let's say we did it we've done them all i'm going to take the text let me get rid of this i'm going to take the text and you can tell it's the text because it um, shows you that and i'm going to fuzzy this up and i'm going to i grabbed it all i'm going to go effects blur and Gussie and Burke, because we don't want that sharp look. And then we're going to put this back. And if I would have gone through and done all the colors, I think it's going to make it kind of... Now, because I can't tell if this is fuzzy on purpose or just because the whole thing's fuzzy. But I really think if, you, if he does something like this... I mean, look at the A. The A looks just like that A. Maybe I'm a little bit too fuzzy. But if you took your time and went through and did what we did here, um, I think you could match it, you know, pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.